hello everyone welcome back to another awesome video and in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to trade forex successfully without uh, losing your money and i will show you how to know where the banks place their orders so that you can see exactly the exact places where banks have their orders so that you can follow their steps and win big okay so if that that sounds like something you are interested in please make sure to subscribe to my channel leave a like and you can comment down uh, in the comment section if you have any questions okay now let's get straight into, into the video uh, here i have euro chf on my daily time frame so the first step is always to move up to the daily time frame okay so here in the daily time frame is where we are going we are going to be identifying our bias or our direction the overall direction where the market is headed the next step we are going to be marking our range or the range in which the market is trading in in the daily time frame so as we can see here let me just mark my ranges real quick as you can see that i have marked the range in which the market is trading in okay now after marking the ranges in which the market is trading it is important to identify the important liquidity and the less important liquidity the important liquidity is the type of liquidity that the market is running to seek immediately and the less important liquidity is the type of liquidity that the market is creating for so that it can seek it later okay what i'll do i'll try to move to the forward time frame where everything is a little bit clear now you can see that we had marked our previous high so the market is trading from our previous high to the low that we marked so we can see that the market is on a bearish trend what we'll have we will have to identify what we can see here sorry what you can see is that the market is breaking the lows the lower lows the sorry the lows that it has been creating and it's breaking them to the downside okay and now we can see that the highs let me just mark everything and then okay now let's see we can see this here is our the our high or our range high on the daily time frame and what we can see that this market here this structure broke above this previous lower high and after breaking above it just a little bit it came down and broke the lower low okay now this high here becomes protected by the algo why because the banks have their orders above this high okay because uh, after the break of market structure we have an inducement that ends where ends at the imbalance where we had this high so this tells you that this high is very strong it's very very strong and the market is not coming back to take that to take out that high any soon okay now let's move on when we move down we can see the same scenario here this this uh this lower high takes out this the previous lower high here takes out the liquidity that was inside here and then moves downwards okay which means that the banks has their orders above this lower high their sell orders okay what you can see again uh is so i don't expect the market to come back and break this high if it does then there's no reason for the market to continue lower okay now we can see that there was a lot of liquidity 
build up around this area here and then the market came out and wiped all came up and wiped all this liquidity that was here okay all of it was wiped out all the liquidity and that makes this high a strong high okay it makes it a very strong high why um let me show you why because why is this high very strong because we see that after taking all the liquidity we had an inducement an inducement that ends where it ends in the imbalance inside uh, inside of this high which means that the banks have their orders above this high and this high is protected and the market cannot come back and take out this high if the market comes uh, comes back and takes out this high there's no reason for the market to continue lower okay because the banks shall have uh, closed their orders okay and then it moves down you can see that after we after the inducement there is a displacement okay inducement displacement uh you can see it as we have a manipulation break of market structure inducement followed by a displacement the displacement is this red candle here then the market breaks down and moves lower okay now after the market uh, smoothed lower we can see that we had another high protected here then the market started going down after the market took the liquidity here at this small high here and then the market moved lower and now where are we now the market is trading here right now so you can ask yourself what is the next move that the market is gonna take okay i'll tell you that in a minute let's just scroll out we can see that uh, let me just draw some the market came up up to this level here okay so this previous high this previous strong high was mitigated and it doesn't mean that it, these are the highs that are strong are now invalid okay now we can see that after the market has taken that high it started accumulating okay and we know how it goes it's usually accumulation manipulation then followed by distribution okay what we can see here another thing another strong indication that the market is moving lower is this thing here many many people will see this as a buy opportunity it might be but this is called a vector candle okay vector candle is there to confuse people and cause panic so that many people can, can buy the market but instead you can see that here what do we have here a break in market structure with this huge candle again what do we have an inducement and this high is a manipulation okay because we took out the previous highs that were there and this high is a manipulation and you know how it goes it starts with manipulation break on break of market structure inducement then we have a move downwards okay so uh that's my analysis Imag we are still in the forward time frame okay i can move lower for those who want me to move let's move to the 15 minutes okay we already know where the market is headed okay you can see that the same thing is now happening here let me move this one. remove this one here we can see manipulation 
then the market goes downwards. Manipulation. Here is a very good example of a strong high. You'll just have to bear with me a little bit. So we have a manipulation. We have manipulation here. So many people could have, people who don't know could have entered by trade. But we have a manipulation, the market moving lower. We have an inducement, then the market starts moving lower. Okay. So according to me, uh, this high is strong. And there's no reason why the market can come up to this high here because we have the banks here. The banks are here, okay? The banks have their orders here. So that there's no reason why the market will come down there. I expect the market now. See, we have taken up that high. If the market goes up, the market needs to come out and take these highs here. Only these places where the, I expect the market to go, but the market is to continue lower. Okay, so that's all. That's my analysis on Euro CHF and uh, my uh, my secret to you guys, so that you also can learn and trade this way. As you can see in this analysis, we can see where the banks have their orders, and we can we can trade in direction with the bank. Okay. So that's all for the video guys. If you like, please remember to leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel to more videos like this. Please feel free to comment down in the comment section the next pair you'd like me to break down and if you'd like me to share more strategies like this. Thank you. Have a nice day.